Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to 256 Garage. Uh, we're gonna start a new little segment here, kind of call it Forgotten Projects. Uh, you know those projects that people push, by, push back in the corner and they just pretty much get forgotten? Well, we're gonna try to start, you know, maybe, I don't know how big we'll get to get with it, but we'll definitely we'll start with ours for sure, and then maybe we can find some along the way. Maybe we can buy some. Maybe we can help somebody with some. But on our first forgotten project, we're going to start right here with Allen's 70 model Mustang. You've seen it in a few of our videos, and, uh, a few of our shorts. You know, he was driving the car, going to pull the motor out, had a little stroker motor he's going to build to put in it, and got busy, got started with a new shop here, and this kind of got pushed in the corner and forgot about. So let me introduce you to it first. Our first 256 Garage Forgotten Projects. Okay, right here it is. And like we said, pushed in the corner and forgot about. We're fixing to try to get it out of the corner here. We've got to move, move a few of these old cars where we can get it out. It's already up on the wheel dolly, so that'll make it a little easier. But what it is, it's a 70 Mustang sport roof. Uh, was a little 351 automatic car. Plans was to pull that motor out, put a 393 with a four speed in it. And, you know, everything busy as we are, it just kind of got pushed back here, forgot about. So we're thinking about going another little different route. So first, we're going to start by getting it out of the corner here and get it back there on the short lift so we can start doing something with it. All right, we're digging her out. We're going to find a Mustang in there somewhere. Cut it deep. That quarter's laying time. Laying time for Yeah. All right, come this way. There she is, we're getting closer to her. Number two getting out of the way. Dusty. Dusty. That's right, she's wanting to go somewhere. That's a sweet little ride right there. Look at that, look at that. There she is, boys. We see her now. Look at that. If we can get it out of that corner and over to the other side.
All right, guys, here it is out in the sunlight. 1970 Mustang. What do you think about it, Drake? I think it needs a big block. It's been forgotten too long, ain't it? It's been pushed back in the corner for how many years now? Probably oh, man, six. I can't remember. I got that picture somewhere where we're all standing beside it, and Drake was a little bitty fella. I believe I was a little bigger, actually, back then. But, but here it is, our first forgotten project. Lucky man, Alan Weaver over there. He drawed short straw. So his goes first. Now nah, it's just been sitting so long that if we decide if we want to see it run, we're going to have to jump on it. Yep. But we're going to try. I bought, to... I bought him all the stuff to build a 393 Windsor for it, and that wasn't good enough for him. So he... Well, I hadn't I had really disclosed what we're putting in it yet too much. Oh, have you not? No, we might let them wander on it for a while. Maybe they can give some ideas what we should do oh. to it. But, well, of course, we know what we're going to do. Our, our direction could change. Somebody could come up with a better idea. That's true, too. You know, the way we are, too. But this is going to be the first build for the Forgotten Projects. Give you a little look inside it. I'll tell you, the car is in nice shape. I mean, is it not in nice shape, Greg? It's nice shape. The old man had it. There wasn't enough money in the world that could buy it. But we just lucked up, and we had what he wanted more more yeah. and we traded for it yep. and when we were trying to trade for it people were coming up how much is that mustang how much is that mustang he said, it ain't for sale it ain't for sale but we had a 55 or 6 ford i can't remember exactly now red big tire with a big block and all in it and it's a pretty nice car oh, that suited his fancy and he really liked that car he fell in love so, we so did we up, so we ended up getting a trade and uh, I tell you, he took me for a ride in this Mustang down busy 431. I ain't never rode in a car with this man before. I ain't never even talked to this man before. I scared the time I got back. Not that the car was all that fast. But it wanted more. But it wanted more. We're going down the four lane. He's stomping on that thing. Well, see that? It wants more. This car wants more. And I'm thinking them cars that's on their brakes in front of us don't want no more. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this car was running and driving. We got it. Backed it in the shop. Daddy drove it back and forth to work. He drove it several, several times, didn't he? But we ended up with a convertible Mustang that needed some parts off of it. We just went to robbing parts off of it to fix other cars and trucks. Well, we pulled the motor out for another truck. And uh, then it just got pushed in the corner. Now the brakes are locked up on it. So first of all, she's going to get on the lift. She's going to get new brakes all the way around. We're going to convert the front to disc brakes. Still got the old drums on it. See if we can get this hood open a little bit. So you can see everything's real solid there. Um. Okay, we got it back here in the shop. Got it in its place. Uh, the little lift is right back there. We're gonna try to get it up on it. But first we got the hood off and we're gonna try to clean out from under it. Get everything out of the way. There's headers, radiator stuff in there. I got the radiator out already, but some headers and stuff. Uh, show you here. <clears throat> See it kind of come a pile up. I guess there was the there was the headers that was gonna put on it if we put the uh, 393 in it. Uh, of course, not 100% sure they would have worked with the four speed. Uh, of course, like I said, we're not 100% sure we're going 393 with the four speed or what we're gonna do. But we fix to start getting it cleaned up, getting it ready, get it ready to get started on. As you can see, everything in here under the hood area is in real nice shape. Everything, strut towers, well, I guess you call them shock towers in the old car here. Somebody's actually made the holes where you can uh, get to the grease fittings to grease them up or control arms. Uh, we'll probably leave them in there since I got them in there like that, just dress them up a little bit. But first, we're gonna see about getting this thing up there to the door and trying to pressure wash everything real good. Get it all cleaned up. Uh, so we'd like to go ahead and put the power brake booster on it when we put the disc brakes on it. Uh, so get everything cleaned up, pressure washed. We don't want to start putting the motor, front brakes, and rear end under it with everything all dirty like that. 
So let me see if I can figure out how to get these out of the way and get this thing rolled up there. Okay, we got her outside here and we're gonna take the purple power, spray her down good. Show you, this is what we use here. Pick it up at the local dollar store, purple power. It seems to be a good degreaser. We just soak her down real good. Let it soak on it a little bit. Spray the heavy spots real good. Back in there where there's a little oil around the steering box and stuff. This thing is not really greasy to be, I mean, it's clean under the hood. Of course, the old motor that come out of it was a good motor. It run good. We pulled it out and put it in a, another truck, I believe it was. It run out good. It just was needing, needing to do some different things and this and had the, like I said, we was gonna pull the motor out anyway for the, put the stroker motor in it. So it just kinda got pushed ahead and getting pulled out. Like I said, Alan was driving it pretty much every day. We're gonna get her soaked down, sprayed off. All right, here she is. We got her pressure washed off, clean. Everything cleaned up good. Next step, we're gonna get her on the lift, get her up, get all four wheels and tires off. Starting to decide what we're gonna do on the brakes. Hope everybody enjoyed the first episode of. Uh, I guess we're going to call it Forgotten Projects. Uh, hope we get to do a whole lot more, and we're definitely going to hope we get to finish this one. You got any ideas for it for us? Comment down below what you think we should do on the motor. Like I said, we got a few options. We got old 302 over here on the engine stand. We got the 393 stroker. I think there's a little 330 stroker in there. And we got a 429 Thunderjet motor. So just give us your ideas, what you think, and... Hopefully we got a lot more episodes to come. 256 Garage out.